let's look at somebody's secrets. One thing you can buy off eBay is a stranger's diary. You can buy the private personal thoughts of a total stranger right off the internet. And that's what I did. The diaries usually belong to people who have passed away and everyone's getting rid of all of their stuff, including their diary. This diary was $30 on eBay. When people write diaries, they usually think that no one will ever read it. If you happen to die, I'm gonna read your diary. This diary is from the 1930s. It was written by a teenage girl. In this video, we will be exploring what this teenage girl wrote in 1938. The first entries are from 1937, and I made a video about the year 1937 in this diary, linked below in the description. And that video did have a possible serial killer, so this is one of my favorite diaries. What's gonna be in this diary? Will there be romance? Will there be a murder? We gotta find out. So what we know about this girl so far, she's very sporty. She may have escaped from a serial killer. Let's jump right into 1938. Saturday, January 1st, 1938. We went to the Rose Parade, took Sally with us. I saw a pair of boots like mine. There were many beautiful floats. We know that she got cowboy boots for Christmas that she was obsessed with. If I see a random stranger wearing something that I'm wearing, I'll definitely clock it. Sunday, January 2nd, 1938. Betty came down and I was in bed with the cramps. Today was mother's birthday. I gave her a luncheon set. It sounds like our diary writer really suffers from period cramps, so that sucks, obviously. Monday, January 3rd, 1938. It seemed terrible to go back to school, but the day seemed short. So it doesn't matter what year it is, school sucks. Very relatable, going back to school or work after the holidays is rough. Tuesday, January 4th, 1938. I want Prissy to go horseback riding with me Saturday. Prissy is one of her best friends. Wednesday, January 5th, 1938. Mother said I could go riding and I was so surprised. Prissy was able to go. Miss Perkins, my cooking teacher, passed away today. That took a sad turn. Thursday, January 6th, 1938. Prissy was absent. We made Parker House rolls in cooking. It doesn't seem that Miss Perkins won't come back. I wasn't sure how she felt about her cooking teacher. Some teachers you're not very close to, some teachers you can be very close to, or even if you're not close to them, they can still have a profound impact on your life. A teacher passing away can be, I'm sure, incredibly traumatic and difficult to grieve. Saturday, January 8th, 1938. We went horseback riding. We didn't have a guide, so we had a lady go with us. We all had lots of fun. People called me cow puncher when they saw me on the street. Cow puncher. I had to look it up. Cow puncher is just another term for cowboy, but it's much funnier and more violent sounding. Wednesday, January 12th, 1938. Fern is going up for student body president. I think she will get it. Saturday, January 15th, 1938. Went to Santa Anita. I picked a winner in the first race, but daddy didn't bet on him. She came in six lengths ahead. $34 for $2. It made me mad. So she went to the horse track with her dad. She picked the winning horse, but her dad didn't listen to her. So she missed out on some gambling winnings. You know, sometimes it sucks to be a kid. Parents don't listen to you about which horse is gonna win. Sunday, January 16th, 1938. Saw Last Horizon. Ronald Coleman was in it. I think he is my favorite movie actor. Wednesday, January 19th, 1938. Fern won student body president. The first girl we have ever had. A landmark moment, the first girl ever elected student council president at this school, 1938. Monday, January 24th, 1938. We are having beautiful weather. I wish it would keep on always. Tuesday, January 25th, 1938. An author came to school to talk about his experiences. I like that even in the 30s, they made you sit and listen to people talk about dumb, boring stuff. I remember in ninth grade, one of the local news anchors came to talk to my English class about career stuff, and we just relentlessly made fun of him for being a news anchor. Kids are so mean. Wednesday, January 26th, 1938. We can't go roller skating Friday as this is Marion's time of the month. Marion can't go roller skating because she's on her period. I can understand not feeling well and just not wanting to go roller skating. I did just Google when were tampons invented. I feel like that's something I should know already, but it was 1931. The year is 1938. Tampons were only invented a few years ago. They were not popular. 
t-shirt. Tampons weren't used mainstream until the 60s. Not that you need a tampon to go roller skating, but I can understand maybe feeling apprehensive doing something sporty. Menstrual products in the 30s were obviously not as advanced as they are now. This diary is making me appreciate on a granular level the differences between being a woman now and 100 years ago. Saturday, January 29th, 1938. Betty came down and we played ping pong, then went to the show. Monday, January 31st, 1938. Chrissy had her eyebrows and lashes dyed. It changed her look so much. I don't like her brows because they are black, but her lashes look nice. I did not realize this was a thing in the 1930s to have your eyebrows and eyelashes dyed. That's something I'm scared to do currently. Can you imagine a hundred years ago, the chemicals they're putting in your eyes? So I just looked up the history of eyelash and eyebrow dye. In the 1930s, there was an eyelash dye. Unsurprisingly, it was toxic and it caused some people to go blind. 1938 was actually the year that the Food and Drug Administration first started regulating cosmetics and the first product they took off the market was this lash dye that caused blindness. I'm super curious which brand of eyelash dye did Prissy use? There's Thursday, February 1st, 1938. Not very many people like Betty's eyebrows the way they are now, but I guess they will be all right. Before we were talking about Prissy's eyebrows, and now we're talking about Betty's eyebrows. I wonder, are we gonna hear about any potential side effects from the eyelash dye? Will Prissy and or Betty survive these toxic chemicals? Thursday, February 3rd, 1938. Tomorrow I'm taking Betty's place at her dancing lessons. Because her eyes fell out? Is that why? Friday, February 4th, 1938. Went with Ruth to ballroom dancing lessons. I like them very much. We had to dance with the boys in the class. It is the first time. Saturday, February 5th, 1938. I got a very good report card this term. Monday, February 7th, 1938. I was almost late to school this morning. Betty Jean is in all of my classes. We both have typing. I was so glad. Tuesday, February 8th, 1938. In typing, we have to be some teacher's secretary. So the teachers are getting free labor out of this. Unless the students do a terrible job and then it's just a mess. <laughs> Friday, February 11th, 1938. Had a Valentine party in homeroom at noon. I think she's in ninth grade and they had a Valentine party. That's not fair. When I was in fifth grade, we didn't do shit for Valentine's Day. We had to watch a boring movie about George Washington. We didn't have candy or Valentine's or anything. And at, I don't know, 10 years old, that was a disappointment. Maybe it's because kids grow up faster now and so they think that 10 year olds are like too mature for Valentine's Day parties, but then 14 year olds get to have Valentine's Day parties in 1930s. Uh, I am jealous. Though I remember Valentine's Day in high school was so terrible because you would just watch the boyfriends of the popular girls like try to really do romantic things while we all just like awkwardly looked on. I remember one girl in my class, her boyfriend would leave a rose on her desk in every class she had that day and she was clearly so annoyed by the roses. She'd be like, ugh, another rose. I don't know what the point of this story is. Monday, February 14th, 1938. This Valentine's Day was so different from last year's. Betty Jean was absent. It rained this day too. She sounds maybe disappointed, but doesn't say why. Different doesn't have to be bad, but different isn't always good. Tuesday, February 15th, 1938. Went to the doctors. He gave me some salve to put on my face. What is wrong with her face? Do we think it's acne or something else? She is not specifying what ails her face. Wednesday, February 16th, 1938. I wish we would go roller skating or downtown soon. Friday, February 18th, 1938. Prissy, Phyllis, and I are going downtown tomorrow. Finally, she gets to go downtown. Oh man, this did not go well. Saturday, February 19th, 1938. Prissy wasn't ready. After we got out of the show, I felt so sick. I got on the street and they didn't, so I just came home by myself. Sunday, February 20th, 1938. I stayed in bed with a cold. Mother and father went to Long Beach to look for a lot. Monday, February 20th, 1st, 1938. Stayed home from school. Went to the show this afternoon and saw a firefly. So she was too sick to go to school, but not too sick to see a movie. Tuesday, February 21st, 1938. 
January 22nd, 1938. I stayed home from school and I have a bad cold. Guess I shouldn't have gone to the show yesterday. Yeah, I guess you shouldn't have if you were really sick. Wednesday, February 23rd, 1938. Prissy wanted to know if I was taking a vacation. No, she's sick, Prissy, you idiot. Saturday, February 26th, 1938. Edith came over. I haven't seen her for a long time. My, how she's grown up. You would think she's much older. Edith is one of our diary writer's best friends, but Edith moved away. She hasn't seen Edith in a long time and now Edith has had a glow up and our diary writer is like, what? When kids are at that age where they start to really, you know, go through puberty, I feel like we've all had that experience where you didn't see someone for one summer and then they came back to school and you were like, what happened to you? You're an adult now. Sunday, February 27th, 1938. It is raining today. I wanted to go to the show, but we didn't. Monday, February 28th, 1938. It rained pretty hard today and Chrissy was absent. She always mentions when her friends are absent from school. And I remember that feeling especially when you were in elementary school if your best friend's not at school and you don't know where they are you're like what is happening if she was alive now she could probably just text Prissy and be like hey are you sick where are you Thursday March 3rd 1938 there was no school today old bridge and house across the way washed away I saw the house go yesterday we are having a flood this is a historic flood that she's living through in 1938 in Los Angeles there was a major flood Saturday March 5th 1938 daddy mother and I went downtown and I got a cowboy hat it is real nice we know she has cowboy Cowboy boots and a cowboy hat. She has the whole outfit. Tuesday, March 8th, 1938. Fifth period, the water was turned off as the sewer has broken and the sewage has gotten in the water. It was caused by the flood. Saturday, March 12th, 1938. I didn't bother to wash my hair. We went to Sears and Roebuck, tried on hats. I must get my Easter hat soon. Monday, March 14th, 1938. I am getting excused at 2.30 as I want to go downtown early and have my eyebrows plucked. Even in the 1930s, this feels very Los Angeles. I gotta leave school to get my eyebrows done. Thursday, March 15th, 1938. I don't have to have another face treatment for four weeks. I like the way the lady at Bullock's plucked my eyebrows. Wednesday, March 16th, 1938. We had a party in homeroom today. Chrissy and I danced together. Friday, March 18th, 1938. Betty, Ruth Ann, and I are going horseback riding tomorrow. We have a lady to go with us as the trail is bad. Monday, March 20th. 21st, 1938. Betty Jean was absent. Betty is using the same pattern I am for a dress. So she's making it a little different. Mm, is she making it different enough? Sounds like Betty's a copycat. Thursday, March 24th, 1938. Marie is going to have a party tomorrow night. There's going to be popcorn and fudge. Popcorn and fudge. I don't think you could get 14 year olds today excited for a party with popcorn and fudge. Friday, March 25th, 1938. We had more fun tonight. There was a whole bunch of kids. Went home at 11. Marie's mother and dad are real nice. Phyllis was the life of the party. What did Phyllis do? Was she pounding popcorn and fudge? Wednesday, March 30th, 1938. We cannot wear transparent dresses for graduation. In the 1930s, it was a big trend to wear sheer dresses, but obviously you're wearing a slip underneath. So you're not showing anything. By today's standards, it would not be considered risque at all. But at the time, I guess the idea that you could see through some of the fabric was too provocative. <laughs> Friday, April 1st, 1938. Marie's cousin Betty had her party tonight. We had such a good time. We followed the fire engines to what we thought was a fire, but wasn't. Who does that? Who sees a fire engine is like, let's follow it to the fire. 1937 teens apparently. Friday, April 8th, 1938. Chrissy and I were going skating tonight. So I started M in fifth period and that put an end to it. So I think M stands for menstruation. So it sounds like once again, they can't go roller skating because somebody's on their period. Saturday, April 9th, 1938. I stayed in bed part of the day. I must work on my dress or I won't get it done for Easter. Tuesday, April 12th, 1938. The doctor said, 
said I could have cake and ice cream once in a while. Wednesday, April 13th, 1938. Played tennis and had so much fun. We made cookies in the evening. When I got in bed, my breast hurt and was very hard. Well, that is concerning. Thursday, April 14th, 1938. Went on our picnic up in the hills. Betty and Sally went too. In the afternoon, went to the doctor for my breast. He thought it was very bad. What does the doctor think is wrong? It just says he thought it was very bad. I hope the doctor was more specific than that. Monday, April 18th, 1938. Stayed home from school as I was afraid I might hurt my breast some more. I'm wondering if there's some sort of injuries she sustained because she does play a lot of sports. This mystery ailment is very alarming. Tuesday, April 19th, 1938. Went to school today, but didn't take phys ed. Thursday, April 21st, 1938. I'm going to have my picnic for the bunch of us Saturday. It is going to be up in the hills. These girls are always going up in the hills. Friday, April 22nd, 1938. We had so much fun and Evelyn has the cutest blouse. Nobody was at home except us, so we could make lots of noise. Saturday, April 30th, 1938. Didn't do much today. Tuesday, May 3rd, 1938. We didn't have to go to the doctor for my face today as his secretary made a mistake. I can't tell if this is friendship drama or what. Wednesday, May 4th, 1938. I guess our group is broken up. It was Edith who did it too. What? Is she mad at Edith? Is their friend group broken up? What is happening? Thursday, May 5th, 1938. Nothing much has been going on lately. Friday, May 13th, 1938. Friday the 13th and nothing happened to me. Chrissy was absent. I made the basketball team. Sunday, May 29th, 1938. It doesn't seem like Sunday today. The stream is full of water and many frogs. Tuesday, May 31st, 1938. Chrissy was absent today. Sunday, June 5th, 1938. We went to see some automobiles today and I guess we will get an Oldsmobile. Jean looked so cute today. Monday, June 6th, 1938. We went downtown today, but couldn't find one dress we liked for my graduation. We bought quite a few things though. Tuesday, June 7th, 1938. I stayed home today as I had a terrible stomach ache. We finally bought a car. It's a Buick. I got my graduation dress in Pasadena. Wednesday, June 8th, 1938. Mrs. Minturn was mad at me today for staying out of school yesterday. Prissy looked so cute today. She had her hair rolled up. Thursday, June 23rd, 1938. Graduation was a thrill. Daddy gave me a Kodak. The bunch of us went after to dinner and a show. We had a very nice time. So I think this is her graduation from middle school into high school. A lot of the pages for weeks and weeks over the summer are blank. That's a wrap on this diary. I have many more Strangers Diary videos, lots of other videos, check them out, and I'll see you next time.